I'm tired again. Um, this is the vlog for October 13th, 2018. Not Friday the 13th, but Saturday the 13th. Uh, I didn't get to bed last night until probably midnight. But I slept in till 7 o'clock or so, which is usually plenty of sleep. Um, that's not why I'm tired tonight. It's only 9 o'clock right now. Uh, I went for a walk today. And, um, I bottom out my blood sugar. Uh, by the end of the walk, my hands had a tremble and I felt like I could trip and collapse basically at any moment. Um, so that's not a comfortable feeling. And, um, Thankfully, I got home and, and f had dinner real soon after that, so I feel a lot better now. Anime night was uh, a little weird tonight, a little bit different. I think a lot of people have been um, sort of uh, busy with... Uh, a lot of our friends are, are students, actually, not uh, graduate students, or not undergrads but graduate students are higher um a couple of them are uh, looking to get into medical professions um so they're going to be in the school system for quite a bit longer uh and they tend to be pretty burnt out by the end of the week um but uh yeah. Still got to watch the second episode of uh, Jojo Part 5, uh, Vent Ar Arno, it means golden wind in, uh, in Italian, um, because the, the, if memory serves, Part 5 is set in Italy, uh, in a, f maybe fictional, but maybe even real, probably fictional given that the other, the last series was in a fictional city, but, uh, and yeah, it's about gangsters and one gangster who wants to be a gang star. Uh, Giorno Giovanni. Um, it's really good. Uh, the My internet wasn't behaving very nicely, so it was sort of choppy, but... Uh, um, after that, we watched... Katana Gatari, which is from the same creator as um, Bakemono Gatari, uh, which is the monster story. Um, Katana Gatari is sword story. Um, so <laughs> it has a very wry sense of humor and it. Uh, plays with a lot of tropes that you would see in shonen anime and historic anime. Um, there's a sort of a weird uh, subgenre in Japan that we don't get a lot of in America, which is historical fantasy. Um, and what I mean by that is that uh, these are stories that are set in historic periods but they are full of um, sorcery and weird events and uh, atypical uh, characters with atypical uh, wardrobes, <laughs> to say the least. Um, we have something like that. I mean, when you look at stuff like King Arthur, King Arthur isn't really, he can't be proven to have existed. He's believed to have existed, but uh, the first real record of him comes from a book called The History of the Kings of England, which was written by a guy to impress the Norman kings of England who had uh, invaded and taken over a couple generations previously. So basically, it's a book of legends, but it's where we get figures like Arthur, Guinevere, Merlin... Um, and they're all based on mythology, essentially, uh, legends and, and possible history uh, that has no real verifiable facts associated with it. 
Um, well, the Japanese do it all the time. They take these historic periods and set fantastic stories in them. Um, I guess a better example might be the Wild West, which was a real time period in America, but there are all kinds of stories about things that happened that did not actually happen, uh, with a few kernels of truth here and there. Um, although, again, what the Japanese do is historic fantasy, which is incorporating very, very not possible things into a uh, world that actually did happen. Um, so we'll see where that goes. See if we get keep watching it. They're long episodes. They're like a full hour length. Um, well, 45 minutes uh, as opposed to 22 minutes. <laughs> which are which 22 minute shows. Uh, Japan actually has longer television programs than America does on, on the whole. They have fewer commercials, I think, because uh, I think American television is usually only 18 minutes. Anyway, um, I'm ready to pass out already. So I'm going to call it here and just say I'm Eric Spornitz, and tomorrow will be better. <laughs>